people often get confused with flexi tails. They'll buy a new tap and often they come with a pair of flexible connectors like this to connect them up. And it's not always obvious what you actually connect the end of the flexi tail to. It's obvious at that end because that's the only thing that will screw into your tap. But at this end people often don't know. So if you get one like that with a, a female end, that's designed to screw directly onto the end of a compression fitting or an isolation valve. Obviously if you've got no isolation valve on your pipe, then instead of using a compression coupling like this, you need to use a, an isolating valve and then you can actually isolate the water. So if that's the pipe at your sink, you'd fit a compression fitting onto there and, and obviously tighten it up so that it, it can't leak and then you'd screw your flexible tail onto that end. Now you have to be careful when you buy taps off eBay, especially if they're made in China because a lot of these fittings will not screw onto a British compression nut because of the wrong thread. So if that's the case, you may have to get a new flexi tail with the correct fitting on that end. If your flexi tail's threaded like that, then all you need to connect that up is a compression nut and an olive like that. And then you just tighten that up as you would do if you were doing a, a compression fitting with uh, two pairs of adjustables and make sure it's tight and then it can't leak. So that's how to connect up your, your flexi tails.